Hey Buzz YouTube, how's it going everybody? Got for y'all today another 6 gen showdown live and I noticed in my previous live that I was really rusty and I feel that I didn't play all that great and I didn't explain my thought process as well as I could have so hopefully this one will be better than that one and yeah I got a really fun new team uh, the only downside about this team is that I don't have a new 6 gen mon I mean I guess Mega Kangaskhan can be counted as a new 6 gen Pokemon but I feel that that's more like a cop out but yeah hopefully the next team I'll try to make a bit more fun this one is pretty serious uh, first off we have physically defensive nasty plot Togekiss because Togekiss this generation is a massive massive threat so I really wanted to use it we have Genesect now for those of you who remember playing black and white OU with Genesect you will realize that this thing is a very very good scarfer and I really wanted to use it so I threw that in here next off we have Mega Kangaskhan with bulk attack and a bit of speed EVs nothing much else to say uh, then we have Rotom which is a weird spread actually this EV spread is all kinds of messed up hold on I gotta fix that uh, alright there we go it's fixed Next off we have Specially Defensive Tyranitar and then finally off we have Excadrill but this time I am not running Mole Breaker, I am running Sand Rush. And yeah that's a team, it's very fun, I really do enjoy it and let's get this started. Woo! Styling and profiling. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Anyways we got a first bat on, holy crap yo, Shiny uh, Trevolent, I think, I don't know how you pronounce it. It looks really really cool, I actually really like that. I don't like many Shinies but that's pretty cool. Um, leads though, obviously he's going to lead off with Smeargle, so what I'm going to do is lead off with my Mega Kangaskhan. <laughs> yay, yay. Okay, I'm just going to stop. And, uh, I really want to go straight for the fake out. But he might switch into Trevenant. Uh, either way, I'm just going to go for the safe fake out. Uh, it doesn't really matter, because, I mean, if he brings in Trevenant, I should be able to deal with it accordingly. I mean, I don't think he can do anything to me. Or actually what I could do, cancel, cancel, is just go straight for the fake out. That way if he does bring in the Trevenant, I can get off some prior damage on it. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go for the safe fake out. He's taking forever. Please, sir, make a move. And no, he stayed in and the cancel button does not work. <laughs> Alright, I'm able to get rid of um a smear going. Actually, for those of you who don't know, oh no, wait, no. Uh, own tempo prevents confusion. That flinches. I don't really know why he stayed in, though. That was really questionable I guess maybe thinking he would be able to outspeed me next turn and not expecting me to mega evolve but still that's very very odd anyways he's gonna bring in the Azumarill and this thing is a massive threat um the best switch in I have is my Togekiss honestly because I feel like he's gonna want to go for the player rough and no he goes for the wow 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 that did too much damage okay Let, let's try to roost roost right now Oh god, that's doing too much damage. Holy crap. I have to switch into my into my Rotom. Yeah, he's just gonna go for another waterfall. And good lord! Okay, Azumarill is is way too damn scary right now. This thing is a massive giant threat. I gotta gotta find a problem to do. I gotta find some way to deal with this as he brings in the Trevenant. Come on, Will O Wisp. Yes, thank you. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna be able to wear him down accordingly. Sorry about that. Um I think Genesect should be a good switching, but these things learn Will O Wisp, so that could be a little bit bad for me. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna have to Volt Switch into my Genesect. Cause I mean, even if he burns me, I'm mainly a special attacker, so I'm not really worried about it. As he <laughs> misses, okay, that might actually end up playing a crucial role. Um. I really just want to go for the bug buzz because look at his team. Nothing really appreciates a bug buzz except for maybe Charizard now that I think about it. But yeah, I'm just going to go for U-turn as he decides to leave in his Trevenant. Um, damn it. Okay, now I feel like he's going to go for the Will-O-Wisp again. Uh, what do I want to get burned? Tyranitar? Do I really need Tyranitar? Well, I mean, it would be nice for the Charizard. I don't want Kangaskhan to be burned. I need Togekiss to switch into Azumaru. I want Excadrill to sweep late game. So I'm thinking probably my Rotom Wash. Actually, no crap. Ugh. This is... No, oh, yeah. I have to bring a Rotom Wash. And uh, just see what he wants to do. Because I definitely feel like he's going to go just straight for the Will-O-Wisp. 
and yeah he does do so and now he connects on my Rotom wash and how much did Volt Switch do earlier? Only 19%. Uh, I mean, they're both resisted either way. I kind of want to Hydro Pump. But I feel that would be really stupid of me. So I'm just going to go for the save Volt Switch. As I get predicted, and he brings in the Excadrill. Which is on a Balloon. And he is indeed the Mode Breaker variant. So let's try to go for the Will-O-Wisp. Unfortunately, he outspeeds me. And now, I should be able to bring in my Genesec that I had a look at it. Hmm. I gotta find some way to get rid of this thing's balloon. And unfortunately, I only have Sucker Punch to touch Trevenant. I, I really wanted to have Earthquake on Kangaskhan, but I thought Double Fake Out would be a lot better, as he is probably gonna want to switch out. I really... I think I'm a flamethrower. No, cancel, cancel, crap. Oh! See, now I feel like he's gonna bring in Zapdos. I'm just gonna U-turn. That's honestly my best play to do right now in this situation. Because I don't feel like he's gonna want to stay in. And he might just switch out into Charizard or Zapdos. And if not, then... I do have a plus one in my attack. Hold on. What is... Neutral attack? 277, that's not bad. Alright, I'm just gonna pause. Alright, so we ended up staying in for some odd reason. And I'm gonna bring in my Togekiss, hoping that he do he goes for the Earthquake. And no, he goes for Sword Zance. Crap. Um. Uh, I'm gonna Air Slash. I actually don't know if I'm faster than him or not. I am not faster than him. I live though, and I get off a nice 19%. Unfortunately, at this point, I've already lost my Togekiss, which sucks because now that Azumarill is an even bigger problem than it already was. And I'm going to bring in my own Excadrill because I'm on a balloon, and I'm just going to go straight for the Earthquake. Because honestly, I have no reason not to, even if he brings in Zapdos, Zapdos shouldn't be able to do anything to my... Tyranitar and then I'll have my sand up to allow Excadrill to hopefully sweep late game as he misses the rock slide. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Um he would have broken my balloon, but look at it looking at his team, nothing else really has a ground type move, so I I don't know how much that miss might actually end up mattering. As he brings in the giant ass threat known as Azumarill. Uh, it was, uh, I shouldn't have fought it off my Togekiss like that. Damn it. Mm. I'm gonna stay in an Earthquake. Uh, okay, good. And I just died. Oh, <laughs> this is not looking good for me. I think Mega Kangaskhan can probably turn this around for me. So, what I'm gonna do is bring in Mega Kangaskhan. He might double out into Trevenant now that I look at it. And then I can just U-turn on that. Ah, oh, I really wish I had Earthquake right now. Alright, I'm gonna double into my Genesect, predicting him to bring in Trevenant. And then hopefully go for the U-turn. And knock out Trevenant. So, yeah, that's really my best play to do right now. As, yes! Get predicted! Okay, good. He's got Natural Cure. Alright. And I got the plus one on my attack. I'm going to go straight for the U-turn. Ah, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now I can bring back in my... Mega Kangaskhan, which might be able to actually win me the battle right now as he brings in the Azumarill. I'm gonna go straight for the... F I already Mega Evolved. So, I'm just gonna go straight for the Fake Out, which does hit two times. Oh, 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 oops, oops, oops. Okay, my mic almost fell. <laughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, look at that damage, guys. And now I'm gonna go for the Sucker Punch. And I should be faster than him. Yep, okay, good. Look at that, man. Kangaskhan. Pulling through. 
As he brings in the Mega Charizard, most likely. I don't know if he'll be the X or Y variant. Uh, the question is, do I Sucker Punch or Return? I think I'm gonna switch into my Tyranitar. As he turns out to be X and ah, oh, I was I really wanted to go for the return. Uh, I'm just gonna go for the Stone Edge as he goes for the Brick Break and annihilates me. Crap. All right, Mega Kangaskhan, come on. Go for a nice fake out combination right now. Ah, look at that. Hmm. The question is, does he Dragon Dance or Sucker? I mean, blah. The question is, does he Dragon Dance or Attack? Oh. I'm a Sucker Punch. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, no, maybe I should return. Ah. Uh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I should cancel and click return or just sucker punch. Oh, thank you. Yes, I got a crit. Um, I don't know how how much that mattered because actually that crit might have mattered now that I think about it. Okay, uh, it might have mattered. I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't know. As he brings in the Zapdos, I'm gonna switch into my Genesect. Which should be able to take a hit, and he predicted me. Very nice, very nice. And it turns out to be offensive. Oh, unfortunately, my sand ran out. And I'm uh, gonna go for the double fake out once more. Cause I should be able to live any hit and then go for return. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do this turn. Predict him to predict me to sucker punch, and I'm gonna go for return. And I live, thank you. And uh, Mega Kang is come <laughs> and pull him through. Let's go. This battle was very, very long. I apologize about that. But uh, hopefully the next one will be better, so we're going to go get another one. Alright, so we got our next battle. And uh, two potential Mega Pokemon right here. Um, uh, Togekiss could be annoying leads. He's probably going to lead off with Rotom. So I think I'm going to lead off with my own Rotom. So yeah, I'm just going to pause until he does choose his lead. Alright, so I let off with the Scizor as I let off with my Rotom. I'm just gonna go straight for the Hydro Pump. Cause he might predict me to go for the for the Will O Wisp and bring in his Heatran. Or even go for the Volt Switch. So I definitely feel Hydro Pump is my best move to go for. Hold on. Oops, 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 oops. Okay, sorry, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, anyways. Sorry, please make a move. And no, he brings in Togekiss, okay. Get off a nice bit of damage on that. I'm just gonna go straight for the Will O Wisp because I want to be able to get that residual damage on this thing, just to be able to wear him down. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> I remember doing this once. And uh, in a Wi-Fi battle, but I missed Gliscor. I think I actually uploaded that battle too. Uh, it was really frustrating. Um, anyways, he's probably upset. He shouldn't have done that, and he did forfeit. All right, uh, we're gonna get into the battle. All right, so we got our next battle right here. Hopefully, this guy doesn't rage quit, and he has a pretty scary-looking team. Not gonna lie. Again, possible Mega Evolutions right here. So I'll have to figure out which one it is and decide how to deal with it. A uh, leads though. Rotom is definitely my best lead as it leads off with the Gliscor, Gliscor, wow, ah, I hate when people say Gliscor, it's Gliscor, you don't glid, you glide, and uh, he really has nothing to take a Will-O-Wisp, but I kind of want to go for the Hydro Pump, no, I think I'm going to Willow, please don't taunt me, <laughs> if he taunts me first turn, I'm going to be like, I'm done, because that will be an insane prediction on his part, very first turn too. So yeah, I'm just going to go straight for the Will-O-Wisp. Because look at his team, he has nothing to take a Will-O-Wisp. I mean, Dragonite could, but then his Lumberry would be burned. And he does just end up going for the Protect. I had that in the back of my mind that he'll probably go for Protect. But in this situation, I should be able to just go for the Hydro Pump and uh, pop him right quick. 
<laughs> All right, uh, we're gonna go get finally okay I had to quit like five battles in a row and uh, this guy looks like he has a scary team All right, this should be good uh, Threats 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 Excadure could be annoying Gujar is very specially defense bulky Aegislash is always a threat Star Raptor is scary as all hell. So I really got to watch out for his whole team practically uh, Leads though my best lead is definitely gonna be my Rotom Wash, but I feel that maybe Kangaskhan, actually. And damn it, see, this is why you should have put Earthquake because of Aegislash. Uh, I kind of just want to go straight for the fake out, actually, because if I stay in this form, I can still hit Aegislash with Power Up Punch. Um. Uh. I think I'm gonna fake out. Okay. He's definitely just gonna stay in to try to get up the sticky web. So I'm just gonna go for the return. Because from the looks of his team, it looks like it relies on sticky web. Because there's no real other reason anybody would run Gavantula on their team. And yep, I can just go for the uh, return, knock him out. And it's actually not too big of a deal because. Excadrill can beat Aegislash one on one and I'll be able to spin away the sticky web and due to the fact that I'm actually on an air balloon My Excadrill won't be affected as he brings in the Politoed I'm just gonna make the safe switch into my Rotom Wash which should be able to take any hit that he wants to go for as he goes for the crit Focus Blast <laughs> I'm gonna Pain Split because I feel like he's gonna switch out. Yes, Gudra, thank you! Ah, thank you for giving me some nice HP. And I'm gonna go for the Volt Switch. And I don't see that he has leftovers, so... Is he choiced, maybe? That would be interesting for sure. I mean, a Specs Gujurk could be actually very viable. I was thinking about maybe trying to run that. But yeah, I'm just gonna bring my Tyranitar as it goes for the safe Dragon Pulse. And no, he turns out to have Life Orb, which means he's probably Rest. That's kind of cool with hydration. I like that. I like that. Um, I'm just gonna pursue because I feel like he might want to switch out, and I should be able to take a focus blast because I'm in sand. And yeah, he did try to switch out, so remember to get rid of the Gudra. So yeah, I'm in a very good position right now. I'm up six four as he brings back in the Palito. Palito. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Ah, uh, I don't really want to bring back in Rotom. I might have to though. No, because Hydro Pump is going to be scary. Togekiss. Do I need Togekiss? I mean, Togekiss could beat Aegislash one on one. Genesec. I don't think I actually need my Gen. Well, no, it's Scarf, so I can't outspeed Star Raptor. Um, I need Tyranitar for my Excadrill to spin away these. I was going to say these hazards, <laughs> but he only has Sticky Web up. And uh, Kangaskhan has just such good priority uh, I'm thinking maybe my Togekiss because I can always burn Aegislash so yeah I think I'm just gonna switch right into my Togekiss as he misses the Hydro Pump okay you crit me I don't feel bad about that that that's justice right there oh what <laughs> why <laughs> I finally got somebody who knew what they were doing, or looked like they knew how they were doing. <laughs> okay. Alright guys, so I think it's going to be the final battle because I'm running really short on time and it's getting really hard to try to find a decent opponent and this guy looks like he knows what he's doing. Hopefully he does. A uh, leads. I think my best lead is going to be my my Rotom Wash. I'm going to lead off with that. As it leads off with the Talon Flame. Um... I really just want to go for the Volt Switch. Predicting him to bring in Vaporeon, maybe? Because I don't think he's going to switch into Excadrill, Garchomp, or Gliscor. Also, that's definitely going to be Mega Garchomp, which is going to be a scary threat, so I really got to watch out for that. But yeah, I think I'm just going to just go for the safe Volt Switch. Because Rotom Wash does beat this one on one as he brings. Okay. <laughs> I really hope I just got predicted. Um, now I'm gonna go for Hydro Pump. 
because he might expect me to go for another Volt Switch and bring in Vaporeon. Why well, no, not? Blah. He might expect me to go for another Volt Switch and stay in, or even bring in Garchomp or Excadrill, and I knock out the Glyscore. Okay then. So that's one pain out of the way, and one thing that actually walls my Kangaskhan out of the way. Hmm. He brings in the Garchomp. I'm going to go straight for the will -O -Wisp because he's definitely going to Mega Evolve. Or just utterly annihilate me with the out. I just got destroyed. Holy crap. Um, This is my perfect chance to go for Nasty Plot, actually. Yeah. I'm a Nasty Plot because I can still take any one hit from Talonflame, which is... The main reason I wanted to keep my Rotom around for, <laughs> and that just got destroyed. I, I thought it would like Mega Evolve and Swords Dance or something. No, that was not at all the case. And he did unfortunately get the three turn out rate, so I'm going to be able to get rid of Garchomp, which is going to be really good for me. Unfortunately, though, Talonflame might just be my downfall. And I'm going to be able to get rid of the Garchomp, so that's pretty good. His, his uh, Mega Evolution is gone. And I'm sitting at a nice plus two, which will probably force him to bring in Tyranitar to get a sand up for Excadrill. Because if he brings in Talonflame, I can just go for Air Slash. And yeah, he's going to bring in Tyranitar. I'm going to go straight for the Dazzling Gleam. Hopefully this will be able to knock him out in one hit. Uh, then again, there's a possibility he could be Scarfed, maybe? Or a very speedy Adamant set. And he went for Rock Polish. Okay then. I completely forgot that Tyranitar could Mega Evolve. That just escaped my mind. Um, This has actually just become a threat. I need to keep this because this is probably the only thing that I have to take a hit from Talonflame and that can beat Vaporeon. I don't think... Well, no, I mean I have Tyranitar, but I don't want to rely on... Stone Edge. Genesis. What about Genesect? Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to switch it to my Genesect. As it goes for the Stone Edge, and I live! <laughs> yes! Okay, Genesect, all you have to do is outspeed. Which probably won't happen. Please, outspeed. Please. <laughs> oh, I just got destroyed. Okay. Ah, uh, this thing's a threat. Okay, so I have to bring in Mega King's Kong, Mega Evolve, and just go straight for two fake outs, and then hope that. Well, no, because I could just fodder off onto the Pokemon, I suppose, to then bring back in King's Kong. So fake out, another fake out. Ah, oh, I, oh, hmm. I don't know. Because at this point. Sucker, Sucker Punch is gonna not do much at all. I might have to fodder off Excadrill. Probably, yeah. I'm gonna have to fodder off Excadrill. As he goes for the Stone Edge, I'm able to live, so that's good. But, I'm not gonna outspeed. Well, actually, I might be able to take any hit. Oh my lord, really? Do Why do I keep doing this? Can I go back? Thank you. No, wait, what? Okay, there we go. Oh, he's got Fire Blast! <laughs> yes! Thank you! Whew. Okay, that was actually really scary. Holy crap. I thought I got swept by this. Alright, so I'm still in this. I'm still in this. I might still have a chance to win. Probably, probably. What's he gonna want to bring in, is the question. He's gonna bring a Vaporeon. I'm just going to go for the Earthquake because I want to be able to weaken this thing a little bit. Ah, uh, no, but then his Excadrill is a problem, actually. Hmm. I'm an Earthquake. I don't want a Swords Dance because I feel like he's going to predict that. And he can take another Earthquake, yeah. Okay, good. And... 
I'm gonna bring in Kangas I think I might just power up punch now that I look at it because he might predict me to go for the fake out so I can power up punch and then go from there come on Kangaskhan oh. Oh. <laughs> protect forgot all about that okay let's try this again come on power up punch because right now, Power Up Punch in the return is really my best bet to take down this Vaporeon. Even if he goes for Toxic, as long as he doesn't burn me with a Scald, I should be in a good position to hopefully be able to take this thing down. So Power Up Punch, get a nice plus two. I got a crit on the second one. Come on, come on. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. And now I can just go for a nice return. And then hopefully be able to knock him out. If not, then not even Exedra will safely switch in as he goes for the Protect. I'm just going to go for Return again because honestly, I have no reason not to. Low, it just died! <laughs> wow! As he brings in the Talon Flame. Uh, I think I lost, yeah, because I think Exedra beats me one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe Kangaskhan can live a hit. Come on, go for bulk up or something. Predict me to switch. Please predict me to switch. <laughs> oh, it's really my best bet right now. As you break, I lived. Yes. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, good. Whew. I think got annihilated. And he's gonna bring in the Excadrill. Ah. Oh. I might... Mm. I mean, he doesn't resist Sucker Punch anymore, so we're going to go for that. Wow! Did you see how much damage that did? Oh, wow, that was a good game. Okay, on that note, guys, I'm going to have to end this. Uh, so let's take a quick look at the team once more. Togekiss, Genesect, Mega Kangaskhan is a giant threat. Holy crap! Uh, Roll Tom Wash, Tyranitar, and Excadro. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the PS Live. If you did, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to some more content. I apologize that this seems a little bit rushed, but that's because Laura's about to walk in the door. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it with that. I am out of here, so I will see y'all later.